There is so much room for robberies gone wrong. As we've seen in many previous COD episodes, robbers utilize different catfishing techniques to lure in their next victims, a tactic that is shown to be very effective. In this week's episode of Caught, presented by Catfish, we're going to be taking a look at a catfishing case that ended in murder and almost went cold if it wasn't for an anonymous tip about a possibility of a catfishing scam. On July 24, 2018, 24-year-old Dustin Barham of Owasso, Oklahoma was found dead in his vehicle outside of Sierra Point Apartments in Tulsa. Investigators did their best to piece together what had happened, but they weren't having much luck. Here's what they knew. Before arriving at the apartments on 11th Street, Dustin drove from Owasa to Tulsa, but visited an ATM and withdrew $80 in cash before arriving at his destination. Nothing too fishy just yet. When examining the body, Dustin had to been outside of his vehicle when the three shots were fired, one of which hit him in the leg. Trying to evade his attackers, Dustin lost too much blood and passed out behind the wheel. Moments later, he crashed into a parked vehicle and his wallet was emptied on the ground. Wait. So they left his wallet for the police to find their fingerprints? Or I mean, maybe they just thought the wallet was ugly. I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense if you think about it. Without witnesses or answers, many people suspected that it was a drug deal gone wrong. At least that's what would help us understand why Dustin took out such a specific amount of money. Or, I mean, he could have been trying to purchase a Kindle or some heavyweight boxing set, but that doesn't really explain why he drove to the apartment complex so late at night in the first place. With no answers, the investigation went cold. That was until police received an anonymous tip about a possible catfishing robbery gone wrong involving 23-year-old Kelsey Lip. Now, let's hold up. How do you get an anonymous tip about catfishing? Reopening the investigation, police were able to piece together what they thought they never could. Investigators found that just before Dustin's murder, Kelsey Lip created a fake dating profile on the dating app called Meet Me and began talking with Dustin. The extent of their conversation, nobody really knows, but we do know that the two have been talking and making plans to meet at her home. Something that Kelsey has done many times in an attempt to rob other victims. Kind of annoying if you ask me. Imagine trying to find the right one and you finally go to meet with them and they decide to rob you at gunpoint. Upon arrival, Dustin was eager to see Kelsey for the first time, but the smile on his face turned to shock as she tried to rob him at gunpoint. As he reached for her gun, several shots were fired. With this new information, on November 20th, 2018, investigators arrested Kelsey Lip and her 27-year-old cousin Alexandria Reinhardt for the murder of Dustin Barham. Something strange that I want to know is why would they go through all this trouble to only rob him of $80? I mean, maybe they were planning on stealing his credit cards, but he could have just canceled those as soon as the robbery was over. Just a thought. Police are charging the two cousins with first degree murder and armed robbery. When interrogated, Kelsey denied any involvement with Dustin's murder. She agreed that she had made plans to meet with Dustin that night and said that she was at the apartment complex that day, but left before Dustin arrived. Sure, that makes a ton of sense. So essentially her alibi was just to meet up with him and then flake on him at the last minute? Sounds kind of fishy. Recently, there have been more findings on this investigation, what may be linked to other criminal acts. In April, police arrested Delone Gay, a third suspect for the involvement in the murder of Dustin Barham. Currently, we are still waiting to hear if there were any more involved and how many others may have been victim to this group's catfishing scam. And so concludes the strange and potential cold case of Dustin Barham. For more in-depth details, please feel free to check out our blog linked in the description down below. For teasers on new episodes, be sure to follow us on our other social media pages. Let us know in the comments section down below, what do you think Dustin and Kelsey were actually talking about? Is there a new trend for dating sites to become a gateway for murderers? And what the heck was Dustin going to do with the $80 in the first place? Hit that notification bell and subscribe button to be notified when the next episode of Caught presented by Catfish goes live.